So I'm going to show you guys how to set up uh, Mobius Live Looping software inside uh, FL Studio. So you can just download Mobius Live Looping software off of circularlabs.com. Uh, you want version 2.5. And once that's installed, you can run it as a standalone. And um, it'll, it'll uh, or you have to find it in the folder, but it'll run as a standalone and you can and like loop in there. But if you want to get it into FL Studio, you have to load it as a VST plugin. So we'll go ahead and open FL Studio. Uh, we go up to Options, Manage Plugins, and then we're going to add the installation folder for Mobius. Or you could put um, the Mobius uh, VST or DLL or whatever in your plugins folder, but I'm not really, I don't really know how to do or like what I'm doing with that, so I just added the Mobius folder. Um, and then once that's added and you hit Find Installed Plugins, it'll show up at the bottom here. I went ahead and favorited it. So now on your first insert on your channel rack, you're going to add uh, the Mobius plugin to the first slot. And that'll open up basically the same interface you get when you're using the standalone. And you can uh, you can go ahead and and uh, like start messing around or whatever. Um, but you're not like you're not gonna be able to hear anything. Nothing's gonna uh, happen. So we gotta go back here. And um, we're going to add our piano, uh, and I'll, I'll play that with my MIDI device. And then I'm going to route this piano track, or, uh, insert into the Mobius insert. And so now, uh, on the master track, we can hear the piano, and we'll also hear uh, Mobius output as well. If we had a guitar, uh, I could route that in um, as well, but yeah, and then that would also work at the same time. You could play either instrument. So now, when we uh, we want we want to use our metronome. If you're going to be recording the master output, you have to route your metronome to a different track. Uh, there's ways to do that. Um, you can look up a video how to do that. But when we play, we want to sync up our, our uh, I always, I always sync up on the last track, just to keep it, uh, to make sure that the timing's right. And then, for example, Now that'll loop and that'll play over and over. And I can play on top of it. And I could uh, start another one for the guitar or whatever I want to do. Sorry, this sounds terrible. I'm just giving examples on how to do that. But that's basically how you get that running. And then that would, um, like if you would record that, all of these tracks would be recorded in here. So I uh, hope that answers your questions on how to get the Mobius Live Looping software working in FL Studio and route it up correctly. It's pretty easy. Um, yeah, I have like no experience doing this. And I luckily found like a couple of different uh, articles to help me figure out how to do this. but. Hopefully this video helps. I know there's not any other videos out there, so good luck.